go ahead and click on upload your model so you can upload obj fbx bin dae gltf zip and glb file format they said the 30 mb maximum per file we only process one mesh at a time but feel free to upload supplementary files if your model has textures please upload texture files models over 20k vertices will be decimated all right i think we are good to try this out i downloaded a low poly model of a cat from sketchfab so this is the cat i downloaded click on continue actually wonder how long this will take to work i guess we're gonna find out processing your mesh this usually takes around 20 seconds okay i think it came in well model name and uh cut model type cut Okay, next main category quadruped. Yeah, this is a cat sub category canine and feline. All right, continue. I think so. This like that. Yeah, your model rotation reference. Yeah, this is about right. All right, my model is symmetrical. Let's continue. The model is getting rigged. This can take up to four minutes. That's right. A very brief four minutes or less. Why not add by our 3D model library while well, you wait? Well, I wonder how this would look like and maybe I also wonder if they will give you animation presets that you can try out or maybe to just be the basic walk animation most models would have preferred for this tail to be straight most um, auto rigging tools our AI system has generated your skeleton and will generate animations in the next stage you can move points if you wish to adjust the skeleton though we recommend you only attempt to adapt the rig if you know what you are doing if in doubt see how the default rig is animated if you are still keen to do it yourself the mirror checkbox allows you to select points to move them symmetrically all right i think i know what i'm doing now was the worst that could happen weird looking cat would it be remove this here and I maybe put it somewhere here yeah take this and take this down this seems to make more sense to me this could be somewhere here this one somewhere here yeah actually seems to make more sense like this if this one's and get down but the AI will already be smart enough to know what to do like Instead of having me do all the work. No. 
what is that? I probably messed this up already, but uh, let's let's keep going. Give this all the way back. Here. What? Maybe here. Okay. Yeah, this should be way back here. No, no, no. Somewhere here. Yeah, yeah. And this. This will be down somewhere here. Bet it looks something like this. You know, this tail will probably be messed up. See this. Yeah. If this one here. I won't tell. Let's let's just let's just try this out and then maybe for the next one I'll use a better model. And the animations. Oh wait. Actually did a good job. Let me check run. Nah, this is crazy. I think there are just nine animations that you can apply to the rig. You have the jump, run, walk. Was the jump start, jump fall, jump end? Okay. Take this run animation. Download. Nice. We can download it in FBX, GLB, GLTF, and USDZ formats. So I'll download this in FBX. Remember to click on animation and import FBX. Okay. Hit play and it's running. Nice. Let's scale this down. And, and then for this animation, we can loop it. Can actually just go to non-linear animation, select it. Repeat and increase that. Alright, there you are done. You have your cards running. Go to your timeline. I believe you can key this location. E. So key the location, move forward, move this card somewhere. Key location. All right. <laughs> Have our card running. So, that. I hope you learned something in this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.